Hi everyone, this is Joanne. Welcome to Simple Stories Saturday. Today I am using the Simple Stories Bunnies in Bloom collection and I haven't picked this up in a long time. That was from 2021. So I just made some triangles in three different layers just on the side here with some of the beautiful pattern papers from this collection. And I have these cute, cute photos of my great niece to scrapbook with this bunny that my best friend, I had her make that for me. So I'm going to put the photos coming off the tip of this like that. And there's some free space right here in the corner. So I think I will do that. Something like that. But I'm going to get very particular, big surprise, about the placement because... I was thinking about using, well, I am going to use this Bloom as my title, and it's the chipboard, and I want it to lay on this in a certain way, because I think it's going to be really weird with this space here between the L if it doesn't sit in the right spot. So I don't want too much of the photo being covered up. And I don't want the corner of this like peeking down like that. I want it to be kind of camouflaged underneath it. That looks pretty good. What do we think? Let's give it some glue in there. And I'll glue it down better once we get everything where we want it. So I'll glue everything up instead of down and then lift it. And I'm thinking about putting some purple in there because there's going to be a little bit of purple in some of the things that I'm embellishments that I'm using. This is Catherine Pooler 16 Candles, a light lavenders color. So I will put a little bit underneath the photos where I know it's going to get covered up. It's not working. And see if I like it first. All right, let's do that. And then come back in with this. It is a hundred percent not straight. That's about good. I'm just gonna be really picky about that area right there, so it looks right. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, and I got some glue somewhere's stuck in there. Okay, got it. Then I can move this around a little bit too. Okay, I've got a couple tags, you know, the papers that come with the tags right on them. I'm gonna leave the hole in the middle of the tag unpunched. I just think it'll be cool. I might be able to put like an enamel dot or something over it. I'm just gonna maybe do that. Don't know how I want these exactly. I want them to be tilted as well. That's cute. I'm a little late getting this up because I'm not feeling very good. I'm fine. I just feel tired. And that's it. So what I'll do is go like this underneath where I know you're not going to be able to see it. Just to make sure that I like the purple. And I'll put it up next to this. It looks kind of cool, so if I had that just coming out from where I'm going to put the photos, that would be excellent. here in this corner like this and then this is going to go under here and I do have that on a little piece of foam it says life is sweet cute um, I'm gonna mix in pink and yellow flowers together like this I believe looks adorable I want to put several florals. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Maybe like this. See, I don't like that this 
flower is hitting that, I, w I mean leaf, I would prefer the leaf to be on the other side, but it is what it is, right? And maybe I can put it up here. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. Let me see. Oops. I don't know. Okay, let me look at this. And this leaf is going that way, so maybe I will like this. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to hold this and tuck. So now I don't like that being over there. Oh, I don't like that. So I'm going to put the yellow one on top. I might have to put a little bit more purple there. Should be enough left on the blending brush just to get a little tiny bit above the floral. Okay, let's try that again. There we go with this. I think I'm going to have to move this up. And normally I wouldn't put two of the same color flowers next to each other, but I don't think that I can help it with this because literally those are the only florals I have left in this kit collection, whichever one. I'm so used to saying kit. Okay. Hopefully that's good. We're done with that. Now everything else is going to be tilted. So let's get this. I don't know. No, there's nothing to peel off that. Okay, so don't know if I want it this way. Ooh, maybe I like it better that way. I don't know. Let's see. This is chipboard. This is die cut ephemera. Hmm. I don't know if I like that leaf sticking out so far. I just want a little bit of the yellow popping through, I think. I have this super cute little mouse. Look at how cute he is. I think I'm going to have him just coming out from right there. Just to use him. Because he's so cute. I really should have a bunny piece of ephemera or something on here at some point. See, I've got puffies and adhesive breads with this. So, all right. It's time to put a whole bunch of glue on this. Get that stuck down nice. Get some under the L and a whole bunch under the B. And then I think it's good. I think I need some right there though. Doesn't seem to be adhering there very well. I'm trying to figure out what the issue is. Okay, it might be better if I put some glue under the picture here and make that stop moving. Okay, I know I got a bunch of glue in there that time because it was seeping out. I like to just grab that. That's going to have to be good. Yeah, it's good. It's starting to dry. Um, I have this little teeny sentiment word that says love with a little purple heart. I don't know if I can get it in anywhere. Should I put it right there? That looks cute. I was thinking about maybe putting it here, but I like it there. So I think I'll do that. Okay, let's put that in between two layers of the pattern paper. I like to put little sentiment strips on the side. Hmm. Maybe I can get it in right there. Okay, I'm going to do that. And this chipboard flower needs to be glued down a lot better too. I don't know why things aren't sticking. Okay, it's glued there good, but it's not glued here good at all. I think we're almost done. I might do enamel dots. I'll have to look through my stash and see if I have anything that matches. I've got some puffies. Let's get those out. Oh my god, we have to use this bunny somewhere. Oh, there's a butterfly. Um, yeah. 
Let's try this. And maybe this butterfly. I do have two sheets of these puppies. I feel like I got something on this. Oh, there's a little teeny heart, too. I wonder if there's little teeny hearts in the other one. Because there's only one here. I must have used them all. I'm thinking I like this little flower, but I don't know where I would put any of this stuff. So let's look. Oh, I didn't even glue those flowers in there yet. That's kind of cute. Maybe I'll have that coming off the bloom title. These puffies are old, so there's no way I'm trusting them without glue. I wonder if I can have it come out here to be part of the bloom title kind of like this I don't see why not that's cute all right I'm gonna do it okay some glue try to get underneath here and glue that down all right a bunny where can we put a bunny? I don't know. Can we get him in here? Oh, what about right here? I want his little face to be showing because he's cute. But it's kind of weird how it's just his head. So I'm going to have to put this in a strategic location or it's just going to look odd to me. And that looks super odd. Maybe I can put it up with the tags. see hmm maybe that doesn't look too awful bad maybe if I put it in the corner it wouldn't be so weird I still done that butterfly placement though maybe we just don't need a butterfly I always want butterflies though always 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 wanting butterflies look at me trying to get this in what about right here? No. Maybe there. Let me see. It's not really adding very much to this, but I believe that it's now stuck. So guess what? It's going there. So we got a butterfly on our page. Okay. And then we can do one of these with it. Cover up that little ink spot. I don't mind that. I found these. I know they're simple stories because of the shape and the size of the acetate. And I think I got them at Tuesday mornings. And I think that this pink is a little bit bright, but I also think that it's going to look cute. So let's do yellow too. And a green. Okay, so we'll put some there. We'll put some right here. Um, let's do a bigger, mm, let's do a big yellow one because the paper's pink and that. Then let's do, do we have any blue on here? Not really. I don't have any purple ones either. Well, this color's pretty. Let's try that. Okay, there's that. Now what are we going to do? I don't want orange. That's way too bright. I think I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna have to go with a hot pink. And since it's two different pinks, I think you'll still be able to see it pretty good. Yeah. All right. And then technically this could be our one, two, three, and we could just be done because I don't really see any place else where I could put these. So maybe we can just get. tiny enamel dot so these are three I'm not sure what color probably yellow let's see how that goes I haven't used this collection in a long time so I'm glad that I was able to 
grab it and use it today so simple story saturday in the description box below is a long list of some of my good friends in the scrub community um they are also doing simple story layout so please go to the links and visit their channels and probably everybody has a playlist of simple story saturday so you can check them out there okay thank you so much for stopping by to see me i'll put close-ups at the end and you have a good day bye Thank you.